LGBT emancipation is a core business in our human rights policy. You need to measure the impact. The public sector will be better for it. I'm Mark Emden. I'm on the board of Workplace Pride. I'm going to be your, your host for today. We reiterate on a daily basis that um, LGBT emancipation is a core business in our human rights policy. I think it's very important that we lead by example by showing that people in our organisation have uh, a place where they can talk about these issues, that we have an attitude of solving these problems and taking them seriously. Always talk about inclusion, an unremitting commitment to making it an inclusive uh, entity, an inclusive corporation. You need to measure the impact through surveys, through how many people are prepared to share their stories, the role models they create. So that's the two important things leaders need to do. A small token of uh, our appreciation of your visit, and uh, thank you very much. People are going to be able to now bring their authentic selves to work. They'll feel more freedoms. They'll have their family more involved in what is their work life and the overall quality of life for the employees who were impacted by what was previously a regressive law. Um, it will just absolutely change the lives of the employees and, and the public sector will be better for it. Benchmark to me means something positive. More or less, you try to find out where you are. If you know where you are, you also can define where you need to go. And then the challenge is to make an appropriate plan developed per company, per country if you will, how you come from A to B. Uh, there are different legal frameworks, different cultural norms uh, that need to be understood. But on the other hand, it's important that LGBT inclusion around the world remains a topic and becomes a topic. So after, afterwards in our family, we have a problem. My nephew is gay, I have a, a, an other nephew is gay. I think the key thing is to, is to stay active and keep pushing the boundaries on all forms of discrimination, not, not just in this one, but in all forms, because you know, if you are consistent in doing that, then you will attract people to you who say, hey, this is the type of company I want to work for, this is the type of place I want to be. You, you need the right framework from the top of the company, so leaders have to do and say the right thing. The LGBT people ourselves, uh, we have the responsibility to make sure that we support the organizations that we work for, that we tell them where it's going wrong, but also where it's going right, and we work together with them to make sure that the topic of LGBT inclusion stays on the agenda at the workplace. Continue to have hope. I know that it took me many years, but, but there are many, many people who are working on their behalf, people that they don't even know.